All right, everyone. So I received this fridge a few weeks ago, and this is the new Go Zero Atlas 80. Um, Go Zero is known to produce a lot of very high-end products. Um, they seem to um, go over the top, and they tend to target the, um, I guess, the more premium market. So I was curious as to how their new um, Go Zero Atlas 80. Uh, performs uh, compared to the uh, more well-known fridge like the Dometic CFX um, 3. This is the 75 liter. And I also threw in the ARB Zero um, 73 quart, which is a 69 liter. So first off, the ARB here is substantially smaller than the Go Zero. Um, it's 79 liter, which is about 13% smaller than the uh, Go Zero here. The Dometic is a 75 liter, which is about 3% smaller than the Go Zero. So the Go Zero is going to be the largest out of the bunch. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, we are running this test uh, all on the Go Zero 1500X. Okay. Um, and the test is we were going to see how long each of these fridges would last on the same amount of power, on the same power, uh, power station. We loaded all of these fridge up with the exact same amount of content. So they all receive um, the same amount of water bottles and, and uh, soda bottles, okay? Both on the fridge and the uh, freezer side. Keep in mind what you're going to see now is a different amount because I'm running a, separate, a second test now. I'll, I'll be running that shortly. But for the first test, they all had the exact same amount regardless of the volume of the fridge. Uh, the reason why I'm pointing that out is because the uh, ARB here has a much smaller volume, especially on the freezer side, compared to the other two. And that's going to be important because um, the fridge will behave different and draw power differently depending on how much you put inside of it. But for this test, they all had the exact same amount of content. Okay. So when we first turned the fridge on, um, I measured the temperature of all of the content. So I measured the temperature of all the water bottles and the um, soda bottle using uh, this temperature gun. Um, and I was tracking to see how well the fridge uh, cooled all the items uh, down over time because when we initially ran the test, all of the items that I put in was at room temperature. So the fridge was going to be cooling all of the items down um, as well as keeping it at temperature once they were all cooled down. And what I found was the, um, the two, the Dometic and the Go Zero uh, perform similar, right? They both took about the same amount of time to bring the water bottle down to the temperature that we had it set at, which was zero degrees and 35 degrees Fahrenheit um, on each fridge. Uh, the Go Zero performed a little bit different, and I believe this is primarily because the fridge is, uh, in terms of the internal volume, is substantially smaller than the Go Zero and also uh, much smaller than the Dometic. Um, the freezer side got uh, down to temperature much quicker than the other two. So looking at how it's set up in here, right? It has a lid that covers it up and it's much smaller. So I believe that really helped uh, the fridge cool down the content of the freezer. But um, interesting uh, that the fridge side was the opposite. It actually took much longer to cool down the fridge content uh, compared to the other two. So it took a few hours, like four hours longer to cool the uh, everything in here down to 36 degrees. Okay. And if we look at some numbers here, um, so we see that the volume of H in liter this is the percentage of how much smaller it is. So the Dometic is 4% smaller than the Go Zero, and the A or B is 13% smaller than the Go Zero. So we're pri primarily comparing these two against the Go Zero since that's the main focus of this video. Um, the Dometic ran for 
uh, 23.9 uh, hours on a charge. So it reached, um, and I captured this number when the uh, power station or the power bank read 5% remaining. So I'm, I wasn't going to let it drop to zero. So I stopped it at 5% and the domatic ran for 23.9 hours. The uh, Go Zero ran for uh, 28.75 hours, which was four, almost five hours longer than the Dometic, uh, which is about 20% different. So the, the Go Zero ran 20% longer than the Dometic. The ARB ran for 30 hours and 63, uh, well, 30.63 30 hours. Uh, which is 1.93 hours difference compared to the Go Zero, which is 6%, okay? So even though the, so the Go Zero is substantially bigger, but the ARB only ran 6% uh, longer, which to me says the Go, the, the Go Zero is more efficient because it had more airspace to cool down and, and keep cool than the ARB. So there's, there's a lot more dead space in the Go Zero than the ARB. Um, but the ARB only ran 6% longer. Um, the Go Zero is larger than the Domatic, but it ran 20% longer, right? The Go Zero, so it, it way outperformed the Domatic. I believe it outperformed or equal to the ARB because of the size difference. Um, the larger the volume, the more it has to cool down and the harder it has to work to keep things cool. So that's something to keep in mind. So that was the first test. Um, I'm going to say that the Go Zero is the winner with the ARB pretty close behind and the Dometic um, trailing be be behind the, the other two. Okay, so that's, that's the first test. Um, for the second test, what I'm uh, resetting for now is I'm, I'm charging everything back up to 100. Uh, I've loaded all of the fridge up a little bit more. So I loaded the Go Zero, um, the Go Zero up a little bit more because it's 30, 13% larger than the, Go, the, the ARB. I, I added about 10% more uh, water volume in water bottles into the uh, Go Zero to kind of keep the percentage consistent. I added a little bit more into the Dometic as well to kind of keep the empty airspace relatively similar in percentage between the three. And everything is already cooled down as opposed to room temperature on the first test. So what I'm looking for here is how long will these fridges uh, sustain the items that are inside with 1500 uh, uh, watt hours, okay? Well, a little bit less than 15 because I'm, again, I'll stop this at 5%. I don't like to bring these things down to zero because they're not, um, I don't think they're healthy for the power bank. Um, so I'll report back on a separate video on how test two uh, went. So stay tuned for that. Okay, and before I end the video, I just wanna add a few other notes. Um, when I say perform, I'm primarily focused on uh, energy efficiency, okay? So this is really about how much power the Go Zero draws because Go Zero advertise uh, these fridges as the um, most efficient in the industry. So this is primarily going to, to focus on uh, power consumption. Um, I can't really speak to or test how durable they are yet or how long they'll last yet. So, you know, maybe in a few years, we'll know. Uh, these guys have only been around for, you know, maybe five or six months. So there's no way to really know if these are, these have longevity. Uh, I have owned very budget-friendly fridges and they've last through a lot of trails and a lot of off-roading. So I would suspect that these should also last because it doesn't seem like it's that difficult to build a durable fridge. Um, and the other thing to also think about or, or consider is that um, we're testing all this indoors. This isn't, uh, I guess, a real world scenario where, you know, we'll have this in the heat in the desert or, or, or camp going camping with it. Um, I can't realistically bring all three fridges with me uh, to do that type of compare. Uh, this is taking me probably two weeks, maybe even three to run these tests because I'm expecting some of these tests to run three uh, to four days. Uh, so keep that in mind. This is again, primarily focused on uh, how much power efficient this fridge is compared to its competitors, okay? 
So keep that in mind. And again, um, keep an eye out for um, the second test. I'll also have um, at least a third, possibly a fourth test that I'll be running as well. So I'll talk more about those uh, in a later video.